is up you guys it's now meow and this is my first second youtube video um right now i'm going to play animal crossing um if you guys follow my stream you guys have seen me play a few times even with you guys so now i've just i'm just <laughs> so basically this is what i'm doing most of the time maybe like 95 percent of the time <laughs> I'm just on Animal Crossing, like I don't sleep, I'm just- my whole life is in that game. <laughs> it's taking over my life. I haven't streamed for a while on Twitch and it's because I was trying to concentrate on doing my island already and yeah, now it's about done. So I decided to do an island tour with you guys and you can see what I've been doing for the past few weeks <laughs> and yeah. I'm really excited to show you guys. I hope you'll like it. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got my gears ready. I tied my hair in a ponytail because it's really hot right now. And I just switched my camera to my MacBook camera. So I'm really sorry for the bad quality, but I don't know. I don't know how to record it using my, my camera. So you're just going to have to deal with this. Don't worry though. You won't be seeing much of my face. It's all Animal Crossing stuff. So, yeah. Let's go! Okay, so we're gonna start from the airport. And I'm gonna take you through my island. I'm gonna show you guys my map. So these are my current residents. I'm really happy with my residents, actually. I got my favorite Marina. I got Judy as well. Bob. I have Bob. From, I had Bob from Neely, so I'm really happy. And Marshall. I love Marshall. Yeah, everyone is super great. And as you can see, I made my island have a heart river. This was super hard to do. And I don't know if I regret it or not because with the heart river, it was super hard to place everything. Okay, this is my entrance and my mech. I really like him. So this is my entrance going to the main plaza and if you guys are wondering why it's still sakura season in my island i actually time traveled back for this occasion so i can catch the best season for my island since it's so pink and the cherry blossoms are really beautiful i love it it's my favorite season this is my park playground and my little cafe over here and i have a bridge going across where the moon is. I just crafted this moon recently and I really like it because it looks like the sun is setting even though it's a moon. <laughs> and this is my yard sale. I take my friends here for them to just get all the stuff they want as much as they want. I had so much duplicates because of my villagers and popping up balloons and shaking the trees. Just a lot. Okay, so this is my little arcade place. I really like this and I mean I haven't gone to an arcade in so long because of the pandemic so I just thought okay let's just have one in my island okay going back here let's go across at the top of my island here's Godzilla guarding me or scaring me and my villagers <laughs> going upwards is my little Zen garden or Zen beach side. <laughs> Gonna dress up for the occasion. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so this is what my Zen garden looks like. I think it looks pretty nice. If I do say so myself. <laughs> okay. Let us go here. This is where Muffy and Octavian lives. I got a rose bed for Muffy. And Octavian has like an entrance way to the Zen garden. I tried to make um, a little corner for a little place for my villagers so they have like their own little activity space that kind of match their personalities a bit or like at least what I think they, their personalities are like so this is Bo and Diana's place Diana has this cute little place right here <laughs> where she can draw and Bo has this cute mug and typewriter going back to this side of my island. So let's go back to the plaza and towards this bridge so I can show you guys where my museum is. 
Now, I'm not going to go to the museum because everyone's museum is the same. So, they don't have to go there. On to the left side is my little candy kawaii fair. There's little cakes here and donuts and a place where you can eat and have a good time. I also have a little kitchen right here behind the stalls. <laughs> and yeah, let's go down here. I have a little picnic moment here and some dumplings, cotton candy, a little fortune telling place. And if you turn left, you can see like another cute space. If you go here, you'll see a little corner just for Bob and Coco. I really like these two because they're so cute and super chill. Like I, I'm kind of surprised how fast they became friends because like the second day I got Bob, they were already like good, the best of friends. So I'm really happy that I put them all together. I even put a bookcase for Coco because I know she loves reading books and I got a TV for Bob just because. I know I love it though, I'm pretty sure. This is my other beach side, my campsite, my fish market. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to maximize my whole space. Going towards here is my evil lair. This is actually inspired by Ursula. And over this side is the red corner. If you guys have him already, this is where he lands his ship. His little boat, I guess. <laughs> going back down, I'm going to show you guys my diner. So this is my diner. I take all my friends here. I treat them <laughs> for some coffee, some cake, some pancakes. <laughs> Check, please. Okay, so this is where my shops are. I call it my shopping district. I wanted them to be all in one spot, you know. In another arcade place. I was actually inspired to do this by Akihabara alleys because in some of them, they have like these little arcade machines and it's really nice. Hey, Judy. Another picnic place. And my resident service center. In an artist corner right here. <laughs> okay. Going back here. I'll show you guys my little smoking area. I don't advise smoking, but I really wanted to maximize the spot and kind of make it look as realistic as possible. But kind of in the mixture of real and fantasy. So, yeah. Going here is my little secret garden. I love this place. I'm, this is probably my favorite part of my island. I have a little bookshelf over here and another picnic. This is where I write my diary. <laughs> I don't know. I like looking at this area from this view because it really shows the whole sunset and the mix of the pinks and purples. And it's really the best. It really mixes in with the whole garden vibes, so um, I really like that. My rose bed. Oh, for the gods. <laughs> it's my little cemetery. Yeah, I, I have everything right here. <laughs> I don't need real life. Everything is just right here. Going back towards this bridge, you see the onsen. And the little flowers, my workplace, and another arc to go to my house. I have another little heart pod over here. And another picnic. Sorry, I'm like, I sound like I'm really obsessed with picnics, but I mean, come on. I am. <laughs> okay, so, hi, welcome to my crib. So this is my little house. I changed the flooring and the wallpaper. I have a little pet now. And going across, it's still the same. And if you guys don't know, I have a brand. 
and it's called Omi Omi, and I was supposed to have an exhibit in Harajuku again, but this time it was last April, well supposedly, but because of the recent issues, the pandemic, I had to opt out from it for everyone's safety. I know a lot of people wanted to go, but I figure this is the best for everyone for now. But don't worry, I will move it to another date. So these are actually my designs in real life. So I'm going to walk you through a bit of it. This is the Filipiniana inspired dress I'm wearing right now. You can see like sort of like a pixelated version of it down on the floor. It's kind of like the simpler version of my designs, but you know, like it's the closest I can do for now. On to the next room on the right. So this is my studio. I have another working place right here. <laughs> and I have this manga wallpaper that I asked someone to craft for me. My cat tower, my little computer, my bold and brash art, and my little futon so I can take 30 minute naps. <laughs> oh, and my sewing machine. So on to the left side might be something you'd really like or something you might really, really hate. Ta-da! <laughs> Welcome to my maid cafe area. Some of you guys know that I worked at a maid cafe in Akihabara well, um, a while back, maybe like two years ago, for like two years. And I had to quit because I got too busy. Fashion school is like really difficult to juggle part-time jobs in. So I made that in memory of my maid cafe upstairs is my bedroom. So this is my bedroom. I have like a little computer here, a little bathroom here, <laughs> and a little toilet. <laughs> Even makes little sounds. This is my pet snail. His name is Franklin. <laughs> so this song is actually my favorite. Animal Crossing song. I listen to it a lot and this is... I never get tired of it. I listen to it years and years after playing Animal Crossing the first time and it just helps me sleep and is really comforting. Now for my favorite room in my whole house. Yes. My magical girl room. So yeah, that's the end of my house tour. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my second favorite part of my island. Welcome to Harajuku. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is a Harajuku-inspired alley at least. This is initially inspired by this video I saw on Twitter. And I think that person made a Shinjuku inspired alley? I'm not too sure, but I was really mind blown by that and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make my own version. <laughs> and it ended up looking like Takeshi to Dori, so I mean, why not, right? So this is my ramen bar place. Well, another one. And going here is my own boutique, again. <laughs> well, actually, this is my shop. The one you saw before was just my exhibit, but this time I made it seem like my shop is by Harajuku because that's like one of my dreams. Now I know it sounds lame, but it honestly has been a dream of mine since I was a kid to have like this little shop in Harajuku. Just let me dream, okay? <laughs> I'm getting there. So this is my little swimming pool. And to the left are four of my villagers' houses again. This is Marshall's place. And yeah, you know I really spoil him. <laughs> In this Marina's place, I haven't added much yet, but if you go forward, there's a little place for Marina, Lolly, and Judy to just chill and have tea. So yeah, this is Judy and this is Lolly. So going down again, I'm going to show you guys the last part of my island. So I terraform this to be sort of like a maze and ta-da <laughs> this is my little club place where 
me and my friends can make music or my villagers and we can just dance and have fun <laughs> this is my little backstage area for all the rock stars out there <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> this is probably the third favorite part of my island. Honestly, I really like all the parts. I'm super happy with how things turned out. Okay, so now I'm going to take you guys back to the airport. So that's the end of my island tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did showing off my island. And if you guys have any questions, suggestions, or any other comments, just leave it down below and I'm gonna try my best to answer to all of them. Oh, and I'm gonna have an Animal Crossing giveaway soon. So if you guys have watched it this far, then congratulations, you get plus 10 points. All you need to do now is type down the answer to this question. What is my favorite Animal Crossing song? So that's the question. If you guys know the answer, just save it, type it out once you enter the giveaway, and you get immediate plus points for that. So I hope you guys are enjoying your Animal Crossing Island. I know I am. I really love this game. I really enjoy it. Animal Crossing is so versatile. Everyone plays it super differently. Everyone has different goals in the game. And like there's so many different ways to have fun with this. And if you guys don't have the game, it's okay. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye guys! Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon!